Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I can't wait to share the information in this video with you. Everybody kind of looks at my skin and they say, oh, you have good skin. And I have to say part of that is lighting. The lighting does help, but actually I'll be showing you my skin in the sunlight in a little while. I'll go out in the front yard with no makeup on my face, no foundation, and I'll show you what it really looks like. But I really do have good skin. And looking back, I think the single number one reason my skin is as good as it is, is that in my mid-30s, a girl at work said, Beth, are you wearing sunblock every day? And I said, no, you know, I wear it when I go out to the beach and stuff. And that's what everybody always says. And she says, no, you need to be wearing sunblock every single day. And I will say, I still work with Jeannie Wayne. It, hi, Jeannie, if you're seeing this. And her skin still looks beautiful and she's older than me now. And I am firmly convinced that the reason my skin on my face looks pretty good is because of Jeannie's wise advice, sunblock every day, which of course we all do know that. I realized about a month ago though, that the skin on my arms was starting to look terrible and that I was not taking care of it. And I've got a couple of videos that I'll be sharing with you. One, a chemical peel that I did on my arms, although I may wait a few weeks and redo that because I didn't use enough of the solution. So I think I really need to do it again to show you really what happens with the TCA peel on your arms. And I'll be doing a second video on my new skincare routine for my arms, which is fabulous. I'm so excited about it. And I don't know how I could have been three years on YouTube without realizing that you truly do need to take care of your body skin as aggressively as you take care of your facial skin. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things youthing for our second half, then I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell and give this video a like and or share it with a friend if you would. And I will say, I think this video is going to be worth sharing because the information that I'm going to share with you takes sun protection to a whole new level. And it's the level that at least on my face, I have used for a lot of years and I can hardly wait to share it with you. Okay, here I am ladies. I have no foundation on at all. I did just take that off. I still have my eyes on and a little bit on the lips. Here I go, I'll go out in the sun to show you more closely what my skin, what my real skin looks like. And here it is, and I hate being out here with no sun protection on, but as you can see, I really don't have a lot of brown spots. I did have a lot of all over pigmentation on this part of my face, on my forehead, and I've been using Obaji to get rid of that, and that helped. But I really didn't have that many dark spots on my face at all, and it really is because I have aggressively avoided the sun. And for all of you younger women who are tuning in to see what a 60 year old woman looks like, the best tip I can give you in terms of beauty at all is avoid the sun like the plague. I have. Okay, let's get right into this. Okay, I'm not going to mention much about sunblock. However, I do have a new one I've been using and I love it. It's the Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46 Anti-Aging Oil-Free Sunblock. That's a mouthful. But I love this, it doesn't go on greasy, it has a little bit of tint, so I can go without makeup, although I really don't choose to do that. Love this as a facial sunblock. And again, ladies, every single day, even when you're in the house, those UVA rays do come into the house, and so I do use sunblock every single day, and I've actually started wearing this sunblock on my arms every single day, and I've only been doing it for a month, and I've been doing a few other body skin care techniques, which I'll share in a future video with you because I think they're wonderful. But this is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock 45, and I will say it goes on a little bit greasy at first, but very quickly it does dry to a matte finish. I have it on right now. If you're not using sunblock on the exposed areas of your skin other than your face every day, Girls, let's up our game. I am 62 years old. I hope to make it to 90, and I hope all of you do as well, and I hope we look as good as possible getting there as we can. But more importantly than how we look is actually how our skin functions. Because I have to say, I went to a 4th of July pool party at my parents' house with just the family, and we still kind of socially distanced. But my mother is 84 years old. She's exactly 22 years older than I am. I've started counting up those years when I see older people. And I realized that her skin is paper thin and she's getting those black bruises. And I've realized that it is a health issue to take care of our body skin. In fact, my dad, who is 85, had a Band-Aid on his arm the other day. And I said, Dad, you know, why do you have a Band-Aid? And he said, well, I bumped into something and it broke my skin. I just went, oh my gosh, my parents are aging. That's a whole nother story and I hate to think about that, 
but we all are getting to be more mature and we really do need to physically take care of our body skin and sunblock every day is a great way to do that. Now I'm starting out with the most obvious sun protection things to the craziest and I think you'll be surprised by some of them. But obviously sunglasses are a great way to really shield your eyes against the sun. And here I am in sunglasses and I have to say, don't I look like a movie star. I love wearing sunglasses. I love them and I have many pairs of them, but unfortunately, I really hardly ever wear them. And that is because they give me these huge divots on my nose. And I've heard recently that I could go into a vision care store and have them kind of push these little supports out to give my nose a little more room to breathe and maybe that would help. If you have any solutions to this problem, if you could share it below in the comments, I know we all would appreciate that. Me and my sister both cannot seem to wear sunglasses without getting divots in our skin that last for like 24 hours. They're terrible. Okay, that was beginning sun avoidance, sun avoidance 101. Now let's get into the graduate level SPF. And these are driving gloves and I have worn these for years. And basically what I do is whenever I get into the car, before I even start the car, I put on my little driving gloves and I'll link them below. They're very cheap, they're from Amazon. And here they are. I feel a little like a pickpocket with them. And I have to say that when I go through the McDonald's drive through I think the young people there must think I'm a crazy old lady. But these are sun driving gloves and they totally keep the sun off your hands when you're driving because when you're driving, you get a lot of sun exposure on the backs of your hands. These are black and they came with little tan spotted ones. However, I have to say these are brand new. All I wear is the black ones. I wish they would give us a two pack of black. I keep these gloves in my car and I wear so much black that I always wear the black ones. Now in the past month, as I mentioned, I've started taking much better care of my arm skin because it was getting wrinkly and crepey and little brown spots were coming up on my shoulders and I didn't like it. And amazingly, in the last month since I've upped my sun avoidance and my skincare game on my arms, my arms are really looking a lot better and I'm so happy. But this is something that I got about a month ago and I've added it to my sun protection in the car. And here they are, they're just little long sun shields for your arms. And here we go, and I'm putting it over my bracelet, which is kind of silly, but it has a little thumb hole here, which I always think looks kind of cool and kind of young, I always like that. You just pull it up like this, and then you have sun protection on the backs of your hands and also all the way up your arm. And I really like that, and in many cases, this is what I will do in the car. However, once in a while, when I'm going to be in the car maybe a little longer, let me show you what I do in that case. This is a little shrug, I think they call it, and this is from Cabby. I got this years ago. Basically, I got it because always in the summer, I like to go sleeveless, and Alan and I used to go to movies before COVID hit our lives, but we loved movies, but it's always very cold in the theaters, so I got this little shrug for that. Recently, I have realized that it is absolutely fabulous for sun avoidance. And again, I have the jewelry problem going on. Again, it has the little thumb holes and you just put it on there like that. And whoops, you're gonna see my bra there. Sorry about that girls, my hair normally covers that. But when I'm going to be in the car for an extended period, like maybe if Alan and I are driving to another small city in, in Kansas or something, which we haven't done a lot of lately, I will wear this or when I'm going out in the yard for a little while, I will wear this because this also covers my shoulders. And again, my shoulders were starting to get very spotty. And I think it's a great way to avoid the sun all the way from your shoulders on down. Now for another sun protection hack. You will think this is weird too, but I call this my parasol because my grandmother always said, Beth, you need to take care of your skin. You need a parasol. And I think maybe when she was a young girl in the South, they called them parasols. I think they call this a sunbrella now, but this is an SPF protection umbrella and it's got a little Velcro snap here and it comes with a little case. However, I have to admit, I throw that in my glove box because I like to have this just ready to zip up in the air and go into Walmart or whatever. But anyway, I got this one about a month ago when I got really serious about sun protecting my arms. And before that, I just had a normal red umbrella, which I used sporadically on and off. But for the last month, I've really been using this and it has a little button here and I really do like this because as you're getting out of the car, you just hit the button, woo! 
then you have great sun protection. And this silver metallic surface reflects the sun away from you, which is just great. And in addition to offering great sun protection, not just for your face, but for your shoulders and your upper body, it also just helps you feel cooler. Because here in Kansas, we have terrible summers. They are like over 100 degrees and they're dry and the grass turns brown. And even though I'm a gardener, I hate those hot days so much, I'll hardly get out there. Sometimes I tell myself, grass, you gotta fin today because I can't, I can't go water you. And then I just put it against my body and snap that in place. And it's very easy. You just take the little Velcro strap here. And then you just do this. So it folds neatly like that. And then I just put it in the little compartment that's in my door. Yes. Okay, that was the graduate level sun protection. Now we're going into the doctorate, the PhD level sun protection or SPF. And I really do these things. And unfortunately, the only drawback is sometimes you look a little weird when you're outside in the sun doing these things. But long ago, I decided I don't care how weird it looks. I really need to protect my skin against the sun. Now, a lot of you would look at this little ball cap and think, oh, that is sun protection. Girls, this is not sun protection. This is a baseball cap. And I guess baseball players wear this, but it really doesn't do them any good in terms of sun protection either, because look, it only shades about this much of your face and everything else gets brown and spotted and not good. So I would never ever wear a baseball cap. What I wear for sun protection, and I wear this on walks, I wear this gardening, I wear this on the beach, certainly. These are full face visors. And I have to say, again, I wear the black one a lot more than the straw one, but here it is. And look at that incredible sun protection. It pretty much protects your whole face. And I have to admit, it is not ultra attractive, but I really don't care. And in fact, when my kids were growing up and going through soccer games and all of that kind of thing, I was the crazy lady with a full brimmed hat on with the umbrella. I totally was avoiding the sun and it was frustrating in my 30s and 40s. I have to admit, even in my 40s, my skin didn't look any better with all the aggressive sun avoidance I was doing than the other 30 year old soccer moms who were just out there in the blazing sun, probably without even sunblock. But fast forward 20 years and now when I see them, I'm really grateful that I looked a little ugly at those soccer games. I wasn't really a cute soccer mom, but I was a sun protected soccer mom and that helped my skin over the long term for sure. Now my next PhD sun level product is a visor and this is not what I would wear. And this was a souvenir that I bought at a Formula One car race. My husband absolutely loves Formula One. So I had this to look kind of cool. But what I wear when I know I'm going to be out in the sun for several hours or all day is this attractive thing. And I'll put it on for you. My kids used to call me Darth Vader because I would wear this at some soccer games. And basically it is a full face visor that's got a good SPF. Make sure that it's up to your hairline, but that is how that looks. And I feel very, very protected when I'm at a sporting event wearing this. And I know I look really weird, but again, I don't really care how I look because nobody there knows me, only Alan and maybe the kids. And they have learned long ago that mom gets a little crazy about sun protection. Okay, my last two PhD level sun protection products are clothing items, and here is one of them. And actually, I just bought this about a month ago, so even I was not being as aggressive about sun protection as I should have been. But about a month ago, Alan and I were going for a walk, and in fact, Dylan and Melanie, our son and future daughter-in-law, she'll be my daughter-in-law in two months, we were all out for a walk, because the kids have been living with us for a month while they've been waiting for their house to close, which it just closed yesterday, and so they'll be moving out again, which I'm kind of sad about. But anyway, we were on a walk, and I had my normal short sleeve shirt on, and my husband said, why aren't you wearing long sleeves? And it occurred to me at that point that that was a great question. And probably like many of you, I always was aggressive about protecting my facial skin from the sun, but I really didn't do much for my arms. And my husband suggested that I order an SPF shirt because he uses them when he's sitting in the stands at the car races. And he spends like $125 on those shirts and I couldn't see doing that. So on Amazon, I found a great Hanes two pack of shirts. They're called Cool Dry Shirts and they're SPF protecting and they also do keep you cooler and drier. Although I have to admit that wearing long sleeves in the hot Kansas sun is not as pleasant as going sleeveless 
but I'm going to do it because I really want to keep my arms nice. But I absolutely love these little shirts. And the sun protection shirts, I don't know what they're made out of, but they're not cotton. They're, they're almost a plasticky feeling material, but they do breathe and they do have the SPF, which is what is important. Now, my last sun protection item is again a piece of clothing and it is a swimsuit, an SPF swimsuit. And here it is, it has long sleeves and the material is SPF. And I have to admit, it is not all that attractive. However, I will be wearing that. Maybe not when we just go for a quick dip in our neighborhood pool, probably not there. But if Alan and I are able to travel again to beachy locations and we're out on the beach all day, I will definitely be wearing that swimsuit. Number one, none of those people know me, so whatever they think doesn't matter. And number two, Alan knows me and he's really used to my sun avoidance craziness. Okay, that was a look at my advanced sun protection. And if you have any ideas about great sunblocks, great sun protection tools or clothing, anything to do with sun avoidance, I hope you'll share that information in the comments section below. I have realized that one purpose of the 50 Plus Beauty family is so that we can all face this growing up thing together because aging is not that easy and we can share information that benefits us all. And if you're interested in all things youthing too, I hope you'll join the 50 Plus Beauty family. Subscribe, click the notification bell, give this video Video a like and or share it with a friend. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. So let's go ahead and choose a card, hopefully something positive to think about for today. Here we go. The qualities I dislike in others are disavowed parts of my own shadow. The qualities I dislike in others are disowned parts of my own shadow. Okay, this is kind of a weird thing to share with you, but my mother, I love her dearly, but she never met a dollar she didn't want to keep. And so sometimes I say to myself, gosh, mother, you're so cheap. You know, whenever she has a name brand product and a generic, she will always buy the generic. And I'm like, ooh, I grew up on generic puffed wheat my whole life. And so that aspect of her kind of drives me a little bit crazy. But when I really think about it, I have that same tendency in myself. As you may notice from my channel, I could review and recommend all these very high-end products, but to me, the most exciting thing is when I can find like a $12 product that does something wonderful. Like I found a great vitamin C product that is only $12 and it is amazing. And I will link that video below if you haven't seen it because I think it's one reason my skin is looking so good. But anyway, what this card says is so true. The qualities we dislike in others are often disowned parts of our own shadow and those things we dislike are often telling us interesting things about our own selves. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.